What's up guys, welcome back to another one on the flyway. If you're new here, appreciate you clicking on this video. What we're talking about today is going and doing a little gear dump of the first light stuff. So this is, had the pleasure of prototyping, working through prototypes, testing for the last two years. Brand new lineup from First Light. Uh, it's the Typha pattern and a whole new series of gear. Talk through, we got LZ jacket, which is one of my favorites. The Omen Rain Shelter pants. Their furnace, quarter zip, all the goodies. Uh, so with that, let's jump in. Get down, cover up, here they come. All right, first up, I wanna talk about the LZ jacket. This is honestly my favorite piece that they came out with. Living in the Pacific Northwest, we're in a lot of wet, uh, muddy conditions. And the cool thing, this is a waterproof shell, four and a half layer, um, extremely durable, extremely dry. Uh, one of the cool features, if you wanna get rid of the hood, you can zip this up tuck the hood in so if you don't want that bulkiness up and out you just zip that sucker up and now you just got a hoodless jacket or in the case we're around here we're in the rain most of the time that uh, thing's full deployed throw this thing on you got the lz jacket so they thought through this really well went through a couple reiterations over the last couple years but i really like some of these features First and foremost, when I first saw this, I didn't quite understand the purpose of the black sleeves. What this is, is casting. So you got your dog sat out there, whistle set them, give them the back right command. They can see this, so this contrast, um, especially if you're in a straight marsh colored setting with the type of pattern, you have something to have that dog see and get the contrast out. So big win on that. That was something that they took from the hunt test field trials world, put it into a hunting jacket. Next up, I love this pocket, interior pocket right here, cell phone right there. And then they've also got like in cold weather situations, got your lanyard, stick your calls in here, right here tucked in. It's got a magnet on that that stays tight, uh, but keeps those calls from freezing up. So if you're going out moving decoys, doing a whole change right there, you're uh, good to go. It's got a high collar on this which is pretty nice running the boat. Uh, when you're running the boat, you can kind of tuck down, be, uh, have security. Cool thing about this hood, it deploys. So you've got just kind of the standard bill, nice little rainstorm. When it's pouring down rain and you want that rain to be protected all the way off the cap of your hat, you can drop that lower bill down on the, on the hood. Um, it's, it's very durable. The feel of it's good. You've also got access pockets here on the side, going into your bibs, going into your waders, anything like that. You can get your hands dry out of the elements. And it's a good position too, instead of having just low pockets, you can sit there in the blind, be relaxed, hanging out, waiting for that next flock. Um, and then also they've got two uh, out exterior pockets. You can put hand warmers in like that. Everything's just got a magnet here, so it keeps it nice, sleek to the chest but still easy access to it. Uh, and then one feature I really like about this jacket, so it can be parka form all over, over your pants or anything like that. But if you're in a waiting situation, you need to hike this thing up, they have that waiter belt scenario. So if you're going out, you're not gonna get the bottom of your jacket wet. You can snap that up and uh, have it in a waist high type formation which is pretty sweet nice thing about this jacket too those access holes work really well as vent ventilation so as you're moving around you're not going to sweat in this thing too bad like i said it's this piece has zero insulation it's a waterproof shell but if you're 
laying in a field, muddy situation, in the rain, uh, around the water, great. Um, here they've got nice sleeves and cuffs on that jacket. You can get those super tight. We're wearing a jacket. Uh, all that rainwater is going to roll over onto your glove, past your glove, and it's not going to go down in your sleeve. So you can get those nice and tight. Um, just a really thought out, well designed sleeve system on it. Another feature I love about the LZ jacket are these big bellow pockets. So you can fit a box of shells, um, keep your shells in there, and then they're the same deal. It's got a magnetize. Uh, so there's no buttons or anything it gets hung up, clogged up with mud, anything like that. So just magnets, they stay down, stay dry. Another cool feature of this is the dual zip, dual way zipper. So you got bibs on, you got waders on, you can unzip, do your business, zip it back up, not having to take your jacket off uh, if it's pouring down rain or anything like that. And the cool thing, there's zippers. They've got these heavy duty big claw zippers. So mud's not gonna clog them. They, they move freely, work well in uh, cold conditions and wet mud. So that's the LZ jacket. It's my favorite go-to piece from the First Light lineup. So getting into some insulated accessories, this muff that they made is really cool. So it's got a zipper here in the top, stick hand warmers down there. You can't quite see, but you can actually put your hand around the hand warmers. So whether it's the shake up uh, temporary ones or if you got electric hand, hand warmers, really nice. Go, it's got a belt to go around your waist, but the, my feature that I like the best about this You remove the waist belt and put integrated clips in here on the jacket. Hook that up here. Hook that up here. Now you got that built in hand warmer just hanging right there from your parka. The other side of this, too, you can clip on if you're running the motor, clip your kill lanyard right there on your jacket. So it's ready to go. Hang on for the ride. Another well thought out thing about this say you forget you have this on, you go in deep. Get this thing soaking wet. Really easy way to dry this thing out. This unzips, unsnaps, and now all of a sudden you can get that dried out in the heater overnight. Next up in the rain gear line is the Omen Rain Shelter pant. So great pant. It's uh, basically if you're in that layout blind in the field, wet, muddy conditions, an awesome pant. It's got bib suspenders on it, so you can keep those up. They're not going to ride down. It's got full length zippers all the way down um, and then you've got front loading pockets here it's got the same style magnet and then you have zipper pockets as well on the front so really good pant um, said it's uh, been durable waterproof very well designed pant it's got gusseted crotch so you're not tight when you're walking so this piece is great in the laying in those muddy fields, uh, in the blind field hunting, throw on a pair of warm pants underneath with your lacrosse boots on, zip them up, go to work. So First Light was known for bringing merino wool to the hunting industry and they've done that yet again here in the waterfowl. Cool thing about this piece, this is their furnace quarter zip, super warm, uh, breathable piece and uh, when you, still when you get wet. It still insulates really well. Um, it's 90 degrees outside, so I'm gonna throw this on and sweat a little bit, but fits really good. Tight to the body, does well for insulation. Um, you got a little zipper pouch up here, throw your keys in, anything like that underneath your bibs or waders, and uh, need a little extra ventilation, quarter zip down. But this is the furnace quarter zip uh, in the Typha, sweet piece. Couple more pieces I don't have in the Typha pattern, but uh, in the proto te testing, we, we had them here in the Cypher. And this is the Catalyst Soft Shell. Great outerwear jacket, one of those uh, cool mornings, but not uh, super cold. Great little outerwear jacket. Um, it's soft to the touch. It's uh, got a nice feel to it, good fit. Definitely one that I would check out. And the other piece that I wear no matter what, every day, Wick 150 hoodie. So lightweight merino hoodie, just a great shirt as a base layer. Breathes well, like I said, merino wool, wear it days on end, doesn't stink, anything like that where you'll get out of the synthetics. But Wick 150 and the Catalyst, both are now available in the type of pattern as well. All right, another piece that they uh, did a very good job engineering is the ground control. So this is their blind bag backpack. On the way in the morning, 
to throw this thing. Backpack straps, however it is, if that's not your style, you can remove those. You got a carry strap from the top. Um, and then also, what I'll do a lot of times, weather's good in the morning, but the forecast is gonna change, strap the rain jacket on, on top. And uh, there you go, it's a nice carry handle there. Um, straps can be removed, so if you wanna take those off, you can take those off. Cool thing, this thing's designed to open from the top. So a lot of times you get a blind bag, you reach in from the top, and you gotta dig all the way down to the bottom. They fix that solution here. So on the bottom here, this is all PVC coated, waterproof material. Um, so you can throw that down in the mud, your stuff's gonna stay dry. You got a waterproof zipper lid all the way around. You unzip this thing right here. And now you fold that back and you got full access. So shells, gloves, beanie, food, coffee, anything like that you store in there. You got this nice open mesh pocket, tetra hearing protection in there. And where I keep the creme de la creme jewels right there. Waterfowl calls in that top pocket. So that's a pretty awesome piece of gear. Uh, hauls more than what you need, but uh, you'd be ready to tack the day on the marsh. So another name that you'll see in the industry, Tangle Free. They partnered with them. So if you've got your favorite case, they've got the floating gun case. It's in the type of pattern. Duck straps, layout blinds, dog huts, stools, all that mix. Uh, you can get it now in type of pattern. So Tangle Free's been around a long time. They make a, a ton of good products. We use a bunch of them. Um, so you guys can go check out those as well. So this is the First Light Waterfowl lineup. Like I said, Typha, they, they've spent a lot of time trying to match a lot. Of, the thing about waterfowl, the diversity of whether you're in cattails, field hunting, corn, uh, wheat fields, all that, they've got a pattern that can kind of do it all. Uh, we've tested it in the marsh, in standing corn, in muddy fields, layout blinds, all that. It blends really well. My When I first saw it, I was like, ah, oh, that's a little bright, but after being in the field and seeing it in use, it's an awesome pattern, very versatile. Uh, really stoked that they finally, our second passion, not archery elk hunting, waterfowl hunting. And we now have the gear uh, we get to run with and, and play with. But if you guys are stoked on season as much as we are, we got a ton of calling tutorials. You're gonna have Strand run through on how to blow a duck call, how to blow a goose call. Simple notes to the most complex. So with that, we've got a ton of content coming for you this summer. More gear dumps, uh, going through boats. We saw how to build a trailer. We'll go through our decoy carts, um, how those are set up, kind of our field setups, what we plan to use this fall. Hopefully you guys are getting out early goose in August up there in the Dakotas or September goose season around you. We're gonna take a break from elk action, try to go hit the opener of early uh, September season. Pretty stoked about that. But uh, appreciate you guys checking out this video. Hit the comment section below. What do you guys want to see outside of uh, hunting videos? Some more tutorial stuff, like I talked about, Strand's gonna run through on a bunch of calling, uh, duck and goose, kind of the basics through the advanced. But if there's anything you guys want to see, hit the comment section below, tell us. We'll do our best to bring that content to you. So with that, hopefully you guys are ready for season. It's gonna be here fast.